into my part two video. This video is all about the goodies that I got at a garage sale this weekend, or should I say two? My first garage sale that I went to was at a neighborhood. It was in a neighborhood, so it was a neighborhood-wide garage sale, and I probably stopped at about four or five houses, and I really only struck luck at one. Um, I mean, I bought things at two, but there was one that I was like super, super fortunate to have been and beat my cadre ladies there first. And then the second one was actually a teacher who taught third and fifth grade, and I found her through a Facebook group where um, it was my county, and it was just called like uh, Swap and Shop. And so you can look on Facebook and just put in your county's name or your city's name and then swap and shop. And that's a great way to find garage sales or people who are selling items that would probably not want to put them on Craigslist because Craigslist can be a little um, leery sometimes. So, But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see what I have. Okay, so I can't remember what exactly I got from the two garage sales that were... Um, in the neighborhood, the two um, homes, but I'll just go ahead and just start and I'll tell you if I got it from the teacher or if it was the neighborhood garage sale. Okay, so this is probably my favorite thing that I picked up. It's so cute. Um, I need to wash it off a little bit, but this came from the teacher and it's a ceramic pencil. It says the flower station and candy shop, so I don't know if this was maybe a flower pot I can't really tell it looks like the teacher probably used it for colored pencils because at the bottom there's like different um, colors that are like at the bottom that's scrubbed off but it's super super cute I think I will probably use these use this for my really good pencils and keep this near my teacher desk um, probably for my Ticonderoga pencils and um, in the student center in my for my students where they have their extra supplies. I'll probably just keep the generic yellow number two pencils back there. And I will still let them use the more expensive ones, but I would much rather them swipe those than the good ones. So, but that's that. And I also picked this up from the teacher as well. And I'm not sure what this is. This is also ceramic. I'm not sure what she kept in here. I probably could keep your standard sized, um, rulers in this that might be a good way to store my rulers so I might do that this was only 25 cents actually and um, the way that she sold everything to me she was really trying to get rid of everything so I only spent ten dollars with her and I actually got quite a bit of stuff so oh I got I'm trying to see if I can do all of her stuff first Okay, so I got these trays, and let's see, I, don't want to, I have mail, so it's kind of hard, but these are stackable. Let's see if I can get them to, nope, I do not want to break a nail. <laughs> these are kind of wedged together. I am going to have to have my husband do that because I don't want to break a nail. <laughs> but they are stackable. Um, and I'll just show you. This is this part so you can see. So they are stackable. But that last one I cannot get off for some reason. But I got that as well. And it says need to grade, need to record, and pass back. So. I might just keep it just like that and not even do anything. <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, I also got the Chronicles of Narnia box set from her. And honestly, it looks like it barely was even used. So I thought that was a really, really good deal because $23.99 is the part of my uh, collection that I spent only $10 from her. So yeah, that was great. She also had, I thought this was the cutest thing ever, and she was so nice, you guys, and she was telling me tips and everything while I was talking, while I was shopping um, at her home in her garage, and she actually used this for her sixth graders, and what this is, here, let me open the other one, this is actually a hot air balloon. 
And it has a clasp to keep it closed. And she hung these on her ceiling. I'm trying to see if I can. But that is the cutest thing ever. That is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. And she hung this from her ceiling. I don't know how she managed to do that. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to hang it from the ceiling. But what she said she did was she was really big on kindness. And I am too. So it was like perfect. And she told me that she hung these up in her ceiling, I guess, when they were doing like a month of um, be kind awareness. And she each student had their own little basket. Keep in mind that this was strung up. So um, each student had their own basket and they had little strips of pieces of paper. And so anytime someone did something kind for them, they would put it in their basket. And so at the end of the month, they would, you know, take their hot air balloons down and they would look in their basket and read all the kind things that people did for them. So I thought that was awesome. I was super cute. I will definitely be doing this in my class. And I can't tell you how many I got of these. I probably have anywhere from 25 to 30 of these. Again, I only spent $10 at her house. And she was just like, please, you're doing me the biggest favor. Just take it. I'm trying to get rid of it. So I'm so grateful for her. She was awesome. She's amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure those are all the books I got from her. I got Battleship. I can't believe I picked up Battleship. It has all the pieces. I'm not sure if I got this from her or not. I believe I actually got Skippo from her. Um, but yeah. I also got a organizer like drawer and I will show you that towards the end of the video. I'm pretty sure I got this from the second house I went to that was in the neighborhood garage sale. And I love Battleship. I if you haven't already looked at my blog, I have a article or post that I wrote and it's sixth grade from a sixth grader's point of view. And what I did was actually interviewed my sixth grade son who is now going to seventh grade and just to kind of get some teacher tips on what I can do to be a better teacher next year. And he suggested getting better indoor recess toys <laughs> because indoor recess for him was terrible. So I found Battleship. Everybody likes Battleship. I love Battleship. This is a strategic game. I'm sure all the sixth graders would love this game. That was only a dollar. Let's see. I'm trying to stay organized. Um, okay. I got at the first house that I went to, these bags were only 25 cents. I have a bag of glue. This is at least perfect for me to get started for my school year because I already said I'm not getting my first paycheck until the end of September. So I know students will have, um, I know they will bring in glue and things like that, but at least I have some for students that probably don't have uh, the finances to be able to buy supplies or just having extra or even to use when I'm actually setting up my classroom. Of course, I'm sure my school and district will provide me with supplies. That's not it. I just want to make sure that I get the best deals possible. And for 25 cents, I'm not going to pass this up. So I got that. I got origami paper. And anyone that does origami, you know how expensive this paper can be. It's only 25 cents. And there's some really cool designs. There's even some metallic ones in here. Sixth graders love origami. I taught a... Asian Empires unit during my student teaching and I can't tell you how much they loved origami. They talked about it for the remainder of my semester there with them. Do you have any more origami paper? Origami was my favorite. I love learning about Asia and Japan and Korea specifically as well as China. So yes, this is a hit for sixth graders. If you don't have origami paper, you need to get origami paper. So that and then I also got some stickers. So this is super cute. This is jelly beans. I'm sure this is probably something that was picked up during Easter time, but this would go great in my planner. This isn't something I would give sixth graders because I don't think they would want jelly bean stickers. But hey, you don't know. Maybe a few of my girls might um, like cutesy stuff, and if so, I'll share with them. And this one is Bunny Love. This definitely probably came from Easter. 
And then I have these stickers here, which are just letters. I love this, that these are like a metallic silver color, so that would be great. Now, these are definitely primary stickers. I actually have a friend from my cadre who will be in the same district, and so she's going to be teaching first grade, so I probably could give these to her. I'm sure she would love those. And then I have some Thanksgiving stickers, so those are super cute, too. Okay, so that is that, and let's see. Okay, I have Breaking Dawn, Eclipse, and New Moon. My son told me that they had Twilight in his classroom on the bookshelf. I don't know. I believe him. Um, I don't remember in my classroom if the teacher that I was with, if she had Twilight. I really can't remember. But I have them. Um, I will check with my principal before I put these books on my bookshelf because if you've seen the movie, it can be a little bit graphic. So I want to make sure that it's okay that I have these in my classroom um, because I thought that these were more high school level. I could be wrong. I never read the books. I only saw the movie. So I'm going to definitely make sure I get permission before I have these on my bookshelf. So that's that. You guys already know I graduated from the University of Kansas, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. I scored. When I tell you I scored, I scored. I got a KU backpack for 25 cents. Oh my gosh, this came from the second family in that neighborhood uh, garage sale. So it has two pockets. This has not been used, you guys. This is a brand new backpack. It has a um, bottle holder here on this side, another bottle holder here. It has a handle at the top. And to open this part, traditional pencil and little pockets here. And then, of course, I have more. You can just wait. I have more. Now, I did get a KU hat. My five-year-old swiped it. It was a really nice hat. It was blue and white, and it was a KU hat, but I got that hat for 25 cents as well. I also got this cute Jayhawk decal, 25 cents, and I got an automobile decal. So this would go on the back of my truck super cute. March Madness. Yes. Love it. I got a dry erase board from the teacher. It's huge. Like, huge. <laughs> and so that was only a dollar. She sold that to me for a dollar. So total with everything, that was only $10 that I paid. And really she wanted me to only pay seven. And I said, no, why don't we just make it 10? Um, and so I gave her $10 instead of 7 Okay, so back to the neighborhood garage sale. I have tons of books. I already have a collection of books because I'm just a book fanatic. I have books. My kids have their own library. They would want to go to the library, and I'm like, you have your own library, kid. Go read your own books. But we still go. And I have tons of chapter books. Somehow a fly got in here. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get them all. And so I talked to my son in my interview, and one thing he suggested was better books, better books to read. And he's, he's so intelligent. He tells me, he goes, teachers want us to read, but they don't provide us with good books. How are we going to get better reading if we don't have good books to read? And I thought that was amazing coming from, at that time, um, an 11 year old so actually he was he had already turned 12 yeah and so I'm like oh my gosh like he's he's right we want our students to read but we have to provide them with quality reading materials and also newer books they don't want to read books that are falling apart so I have this I survived I have two of these if you haven't read these books yet I suggest reading them these are really really good books I don't know how many of them there are, but um, there's there's quite a few of them. But they, this is a hit with sixth graders, and um, 
it's like historical fiction definitely historical fiction so I got two of those I couldn't have a book collection without the Hardy Boys I know it's a classic but they'll love it and this is the very first one the Tower Treasure I have a few um, Newberry honor books this one is on my honor by Marion Dane Bauer I love these books who was Theodore Roosevelt who was George Washington what was the Battle of Gettysburg? Of course, you gotta have goosebumps in your book collection. Watchers, Last Stop. I've never heard of this, but it might be good. I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but just looking at it, it seems like it might be a horror or a mystery. Mocking Jay. This is going to go great with the rest of my books that I got. I need to try and see if I can find the other Hunger Games books, but this is the final book of the Hunger Games series, but I'm sure kids would appreciate having that. This one I picked up, The Magic Tree House. This is more for younger students. I would say this is probably about anywhere from second to fourth grade, but I saw it and I knew that my kids loved reading them, and I have a fourth grade daughter and of course a first grade son. Um, so I grabbed it anyways. It would be great for their own personal collection. The Boxcar Children. I loved reading The Boxcar Children when I was in elementary school. So of course I will put this on my shelf. They go on a lot of adventures so it would be great to have. Diary of a Whoopi Kid. I already have this book but I couldn't leave it there so I had to grab it. And um, this Let's see. This is the very first one that I was trying to think if I got any. I think I'm missing number two. That's the only one that I'm pretty sure that I'm missing, but I grabbed it anyway. But not Buddy. This is also an award winner. This is a Newberry Medal Award winner. I've never read this, but I've heard really good things about it, and so I probably should um, take some time to read this book. And then I have Moby Dick. Classic. Oh, from the teacher, I picked this up. This is a craft fur, and she told me that when she taught third grade that she did um, her school. I guess her principal was really big on dressing up, and they always had some type of dressing up type celebration or some costume celebration throughout the year. And so her and I guess her... A few of the other teachers were the Seven Dwarfs, so she did the Seven Dwarfs with her class. I can't remember, but that's what this came from. I figured that I could definitely use this with my Kate Spade theme. It's so cute. I'm probably going to just use this as a cute little rug for, like, my remotes. Um, probably for my remotes. I think that's a good idea. I could even cut this in half or something. I don't know, but it's super cute. So this is what I got from the teacher and... As you can see, it has these trays here, and I probably can put, like, my teacher supply stuff. And with it being pink, I thought about spray painting it, but because the drawers are kind of like this metallic, um, not metallic, but this frosted pink color, I don't want to spray paint it another color and then mess it up, so I probably can... Uh, maybe if I want to spray paint it, maybe spray paint it white, but I don't want to take away from the drawers because I really like that they have like glitter on them. But um, this is just another drawer that has these in here. This is how much of these I have is because um, it has the, it has, excuse me, it has extra of these in here. But yeah, at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but... I have extra of the hot air balloons at the bottom and it is full like all the way with them like I still have more and I still have more and there's more so but yeah I got all of that from her for only $10 isn't it? Thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I bought at the garage sales make sure you check on Facebook and search for your own um, county or city swap and shop in your area and join that Facebook group so that you can keep up with what people are selling. You, you never know. You might find a really good deal. As you saw, I only spent $10 at the teacher garage sale and I walked away with a lot of good stuff. 
Make sure you're following me on all my social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, and of course my blog. My Teacher Pay Teacher store has tons of freebies right now, guys. Make sure you go check those out and grab them. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.